on live radar this evening. Now, for the most part, things have dried up across the 275 loop, but you can see off to the west, we're still seeing some more rain kind of working its way eastward. This is going to continue to push into greater Cincinnati here within the next little bit. We're seeing some light showers traveling up along 75, now approaching Middletown, Hamilton, Mason, all seeing some light rainfall and some light rain throughout northern Kentucky and Ohio as well. But again, we still have additional rain, some of it a little bit more moderate off to our west. We'll continue to watch as that works its way closer into greater Cincinnati and into the 275 loop here in the next little bit. Flood watch still in effect throughout the overnight, not expiring until before sunrise tomorrow morning, and that's in effect for all these counties, these four counties here highlighted in this green color. So we are keeping our eye on the potential of seeing some issues with the creeks and rivers throughout the weekend. They're becoming a little bit more swollen as the rain continues to fall. The Ohio River at Cincinnati will reach action stage by morning, so that means it's going to be at 40 feet and then continue to rise about another eight feet feet by Sunday and then rising closer to around 50 feet throughout next week. Now I did want to point out the Great Miami River at Miami Town peaking at around 17.6 feet by Friday. That is reaching into that flood stage by tomorrow, but then it looks like it's going to drop below flood stage throughout the rest of the weekend. Temperature wise, not too bad outside 46 degrees for Cincinnati, 46 in Batavia, Harrison, 45 degrees. Maysville now starting to drop down closer to the 40s, sitting at 50 degrees on the dot. We'll continue to watch as our temperatures drop down to the low 40s overnight. Light rain will persist throughout tomorrow morning, even into your morning commute as well. At times a little bit breezy tonight, we'll see the wind pulling in at around 5, upwards of 15 miles per hour. But again, the overnight low bottoming out right around 40 degrees by tomorrow morning. So again, the scattered showers stick around throughout the morning hours. We will see a little bit of a break in the rain here late, late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But by the time you're heading out for your morning commute, additional light rain pushing into greater Cincinnati. Futurecast even trying to pull in some snowflakes to our, uh, for our northeastern communities, not really buying into that scenario. Now, as we head into the midday hour, that's when things will start to dry out and possibly even seeing some sunshine before that game comes to an end. So temperatures tomorrow during the game low 50s dropping down to the mid and upper 40s once the game starts to wrap up so it is going to be a little bit chillier for the game tomorrow afternoon heading into this weekend 59 degrees for a high on saturday so a little bit warmer however it is going to be a little bit windy we'll see winds and gusts reaching up to close to 40 miles per hour and that is during the game after the game looks like we will be tracking some rain pushing in that will dry up by uh, Easter Sunday, and it looks like Easter Sunday is going to be dry. However, just a little bit chilly. And speaking of chilly, opening day on Monday, or rather the parade on Monday, temperatures are going to be in the mid 40s, warming up to the upper 40s by the time the game gets going. So still, it's going to be a little bit chilly. However, dry throughout the day Monday. Again, Easter Sunday's high 47, 48 for a high on Monday. Rain arriving overnight Monday. Sticking around on Tuesday, temperatures will continue to fluctuate anywhere from the upper 50s to upper 40s throughout the rest of the week. Sheree. All right, Allison, thank you. Coming up.